So, Cockneys versus Zombies, which, as the title tells it's you... It's a great title. ...is about Cockneys versus Zombies. And you bear in mind, if you think about the things like strippers versus werewolves or snakes on a plane, it, often in this kind of case you'll get it, it, it's all title and no movie. So the story is two groups of Cockneys, two brothers uh, whose uh, grandfather is in, an, uh, is in a home which is about to be closed down. They want to stop the home being closed down, so therefore they decide to rob a bank in order to get the money to stop the home being closed down. Whilst they are robbing the bank and the homes in the process of being closed down, suddenly a kind of Quatermass slash, Quatermass slash plague pit is opened from which zombie virus or zombies emerge. So two stories now. We have the people in the bank who need to get to the OH Pensioners' home where all the OAPs are being besieged by zombies. Meanwhile, here's a scene. Out in the garden, there is uh, Richard Bryars, who they are trying to get... To Richard Bryars? Richard Bryars, yes. They're trying to get to come back in from the garden because Richard behind Bryce. him, yes, are some zombies. Here's a clip. Amish, wake up! <laughs> what are you all doing in there? Don't talk, they'll hear you! Oh, sorry, I, I can't hear you. You'll have to speak up! Shut up! Come to the back door. We'll let you in. Pardon? There's zombies everywhere. Come to the back door and we'll let you in. Run! Now! Oh, it doesn't work. I can't hear you. You'll have to... Hold on, I'll, I'll come over there. He's Mutton Jeff, deaf as a post. He'd move a bit quicker if it was dinner time. Amish, there's a zombie right behind you. Move, run, now! Zombie? Zombie, what are you going on about? Oh, my, oh, oh, it's a zombie. Oh, oh. run! Now, the problem... It's with, not the good life, is it? No, exactly. The problem with most horror comedies is that they're not horrifying and they're not funny and they're not funny is the biggest problem the reason i mentioned strippers versus werewolves in the beginning is that was a perfect example of just nothing else the thing with this is as you heard from that clip it is funny in fact properly funny in that i laughed out loud a good five or six times not least at that gag there which is which then turns into a very very a terrific visual gag about zombies who run very slowly chasing after a guy on a zimmer frame going very so it's like a low speed chase in the manner of uh, william friedkin's uh, uh, not live and die in the lane. No, it is living. Anyway, whichever. Way. Anyway, so You're low, bill freaking low up, speed but... chase. Well done. There are also a number of verbal puns which work well. Dudley. I mean, there's a real rose gallery of stars in it. There's things like Georgina Hale, Dudley Sutton on a black. I mean, you know, a, a, a good list of well chosen faces. And there's a lovely running gag about Dudley Sutton constantly mangling his Cockney rhyming, saying, "Here's the key to all this." The thing with it is that uh, Nigel Floyd said in his review that it was about as subtle as a brick in the face, but the, the, the thing that works about it is it's well written. I mean, the, the writer's a guy called James Moran who wrote Severance, which actually, again, is a, so, so I beg your pardon, is a well written. You do keep I do keep that banging. Microphone. You've is forgotten a, how to do this. No, I have. It's a well written black horror comedy with a sort of, you know, with, with a sort of strain of jet black humour in it, which got into some trouble in the press but never deserved to. Also, in terms of the way it's cast, for example, there is a role which I think in lazier hands would have been given to Danny Dyer, but here isn't. So what you end up with is something that does exactly what it says in the tin, but is well constructed, does have a sense of a proper sense of humour, written by somebody who does properly understand how to run. And it is amazing how much, if you have a solidly written script, the rest of the thing, everything else will fall into place on top of that. And as I said, I have seen enough horror comedies and particularly enough horror comedies with bad punning titles to, you know, your heart sinks at the beginning. And what you get here is actually something much more than that. You've got Michelle Ryan, she's got both the, both the brains and the brawn behind it all again, a sort of strong, you know, uh, female heroine. Once again, this was apparently, I, I wasn't at Fright Fest. This apparently took the roof off at Fright Fest. And it's, I have to say, one of those movies that doesn't pander to a current trend in uh, in horror cinema, which is there is a really leery edge to uh, modern horror cinema at the moment in, 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 in some areas. And this doesn't have any of that. And it doesn't surprise me at all that it took the roof off at Fright Fest. I saw it in a room on my own, which is the worst possible condition to see it in. And I still... Managed and still laughed, as I said, five or six times, which is for me is a much higher comedy hit rate than I would get in even in many films that purport to be, you know, laugh out loud comedy of the year. So, Cockneys versus Zombies, it is exactly what it says it is. It has a, a cast of people who I like and whose presence obviously uh, endears me to the project. I think it's based on a solid script, which is at the heart of it. 
I don't think it's the most brilliantly directed film. I think that the direction is slightly, slightly faltering. I think it's a first time director. But it was much, much better than uh, than one might expect, and and there is plenty in there that works on the level of horror comedy. And I've read a couple of dismissive reviews, and they're wrong. Were they real cockneys or plastic cockneys? They're well, I tell you what, this proves it proves that when people say, "Oh, the problem is there's just too much, you know, too much cockney geezer stuff going on on screen," no, the problem is there's too much bad. Cock and geezer stuff going on on screen. What this demonstrates is that the problem is you can do it well or you can do it badly.